So, nakapili na ba kayo ng parents nyo ng milk sa grocery at hindi kayo makapag-decide kung anong bibili nyo? Like, merong nakasulat sterilize, UHT, um, HT, ST, and LT, LT. So, ano pa yun? At ang raming letter T. So, usually, sa market, yung label sterilized milk, uno, uh, same din siya with UHT. Okay. And then, the pasteurized milk in the market, same siya naman sa HTST. Okay. So, ano yung HTST and LTLT and UHT? So, yun yung ways to pasteurize the milk. Okay. So, pasteurization, hindi siya equivalent to sterilization. Okay. Um, pasteurization is mostly similar to uh, disinfection. So, we try to disinfect the milk. So, itong uh, nakikita nyo, Oh, yung 118 degrees, these are in Fahrenheit. That's why hanggang 280 siya. So, 280 Fahrenheit. So, for a pasteurization, pwede tayo mag-pasteurize like low temperature, high temperature, and ultra high. So, kaya merong ultra high temperature yung UHD. And then we have high temperature, high temperature, short time, kaya HTST, and then we have low temperature, but long time. Uh, that's why we have LTLT. So, ano different? So, of course, low temperature, it pasteurizes the milk. It kills um, the uh, detrimental microbes, yung mga disease-causing microbes, but it cannot eliminate most of the microbes in the milk, okay? But, uh, so, technically, yung LT, LT, ay shorter yung duration niya uh, compared to other milk kapag in-store siya, okay? And yung high temperature, short time, so it kills the enzyme in the milk. Also, it kills much of the healthy microorganism in the milk and as well as it could denature the milk protein. For ultra high uh, temperature uh, pasteurization, of course, it kills harmful bacteria uh, like a uh, majority of the bacteria. That's why the lifespan of milk to is longer compared to high temperature, short time uh, pasteurization and LDLT. Okay. And However, there are claims na ang UHT milk ay konti lang yung vitamins and minerals compared to fresh milk na low temperature pasteurization because you know that a uh, high temperature can uh, destroy some of the vitamins and uh, nutrients in uh, the milk. But some journals sinasabi nila na almost same lang yung um, uh, nutrient content ng ultra high temperature sa low uh, temperature. So makikita nyo, though nag-undergo ng ultra high temperature pasteurization yung other milk, some companies try to fortify the milk, like add more nutrients. So I think nakakompensate naman if ever uh, there is a like damage in ng vitamins and other uh, nutrients sa milk under UHD. Okay. So, ano naman yung boiling? So, almost same with pasteurization, but boiling is around 98 to 100 degrees Celsius for uh, 10 minutes. So, it's also a disinfection. Okay. So, it inactivates most of the vegetative cell but of course, we also have heat uh, resistant uh, forms ng uh, bacterial toxin and viruses and endospore na pwedeng mag-survive 
uh, sa pagboiling. Kaya kahit nagluto na kayo, minsan napapanis pa rin yung um, pagkain kahit na super boiled na siya at hindi nyo naman siya natikman because some of the end spores ay nandun pa rin. At tandaan nyo, kahit spoiled, pag spoiled na yung food, and then you try to boil it like 98 to 100 degrees Celsius for long time, pwede pa rin sumakit yung chan nyo because yung toxins there pwede heat resistant at makain nyo siya at mag-react with your uh, gastrointestinal tract. Okay. So, it can be used for disinfection like yung boiling rather than sterilization. And of course, we try to uh, disinfect uh, our drinking water by boiling uh, and add yung mga food we preserve dun sa jars uh, we could also disinfect by boiling. Okay. So, uh, see you.